NDI. What does it mean? Is it some sort of secret government agency? Are, are they watching your every move? Are they listening to your every word? No. It's pretty much just a network capture card. So yeah, let's get into it. Hi, name's Bruce, and I make videos in OBS stuff and other things that I really haven't made any videos on, so it's pretty much just OBS stuff, so please ignore what I said beforehand. NDI stands for Network Device Interface, and personally I thought it meant Network Display Interface until, you know, I actually googled the name of it and found out that it did not mean that. And it's an open source software created by a company called NewTek. NDI was designed for larger productions with a lot of different cameras and long distances that the, the signals needed to actually be sent. So instead of purchasing really, really expensive SDI cables and everything like that, they decided to put it over something like the like Ethernet. So they're able to get a feed in via a switch. But thanks to the magic and glory of Palicus, we're, we're actually able to use it with OBS. Um, this beautiful soul made a plugin that enables us to send or receive NDI signals via OBS. So there, there are a couple different ways that we're going to be able to do this. And I'm going to go over each individual way that I would recommend. Uh, the first way is to use the OBS output uh, from one PC and send it to another PC as a source. So what you're going to want to do is you want to go to the OBS forum and download the plugin from the link below. Uh, the easiest way to install it is using the installer associated with the OS you're using. So for me, I'm going to grab the Windows installer because, you know, um, it's a PC. So go ahead and just click next all the way and accept the terms. Give up your, you know, firstborn and all that jazz. Just don't even read it. We, we don't even need to read it at all. So while you're clicking through everything, it's going to ask you to install something called the NDI runtime. You're going to go through and you're going to make sure that everything that you need to install is installed via that because it's essentially the backbone of the plugin. It's it's what everything is going to essentially be sent with. So one really important thing is you want to make sure that each of the PCs that you have has NDI on it because you're going to need it to send and receive the actual feed. So once that's installed, go to the PC that you're wanting to uh, that you're wanting to send the feed from, and then go to the Tools tab and select NDI Output Settings. In those settings, make sure that you click the main output box and then name it whatever you want. It it really doesn't matter. You can call it PC. You can call it Mac. You can call it Sweet Cherry Pie. It, it really doesn't matter. Once you're done with that, you're going to go to the OBS instance that is going to be receiving the NDI feed, and you're going to go ahead and add a new source to the scene that you want it in. And that source is going to be an NDI source. Like I said, you're going to want to actually have all of the NDI runtime stuff installed on both PCs, so you're going to be able to get this. Now, remember that whatever you have in your OBS preview is going to be sent over to the other PC. So make sure it's something that, you know, is appropriate and not incriminating at all. Now, the second way you're going to do this is pretty much an NDI version of display capture. So what you're going to do is you're going to want to get the NDI tools app from the new tech website. And of course, that's going to be listed below because what kind of monster do you think I am? <laughs> So there's a few things that you're going to be filling out, and I'm guessing that's probably for some sort of survey and everything like that. But what they're going to do is they're going to send you an email that has the download for the NDI tools. And from there, you're going to be able to install it. So as you do with most uh, most programs, you're going to run the installer and you know the drill, accept the next, the next, the next, and all the all the NDI tools. Um, that's make sure that you select all the NDI tools because there's a lot of really cool things in here that you might need. Probably won't need right off the bat, but you know, you could need them at some point. Now, once this is all said and done and everything's been installed, everything's been clicked, everything's, you know, good and hunky dory, you should have the NDI 
Tools version 4.5, and that's that's the latest version of this suite at the time of filming. So Screen Capture HX is a newer version of the Screen Capture software from the NDI Tools called Scan Converter. And whenever I first used these tools, it was called Scan Converter. There wasn't Screen Capture, so, you know, it's a lot easier and a lot less confusing. The difference between Screen Capture and Screen Capture HX is, you know, the HX or the hardware acceleration. Uh, with Screen Capture HX, we'll call it, you know, HX for short because it's going to be really, really long if I keep calling it Screen Capture HX. Um, you have the ability, ability to have a full resolution screen capture up to 4K and above at frame rates of 120 hertz or higher. By the way, I'm reading this off of a page, so if my eyes wander, guess what? That's why. So, end-to-end -end hardware accelerated implementation of NDI HX, including screen capture, color conversion, and video compression. It keeps getting better, kids. Using the high-quality dedicated encoding pipeline on NVIDIA hardware with full control over the bitrate, it is possible to have the perfect image quality while using almost any network, including wireless, which I honestly do not suggest. Just saying. So the next thing is incredibly low latency screen capture. Support for capturing audio from any device, input or output, fully synchronized with the video signal. Full remote KVM solution, allowing remote control of keyboard, mouse, clipboard, and even touch from a remote device. Full control over the video bandwidth, resolution, and frame rate being used. And this is all compared to the screen capture, the original screen capture, which allows you to capture up to 4K60 without GPU acceleration. So there's going to be a little bit of a snag with that one. So once you have HX open, you can adjust the settings by right clicking on the icon in the uh, very right of your taskbar, right next to where your, you know, time is. So with this, you can actually change the resolution, the frame rate, and the audio for the capture. Now to actually capture this in OBS, you're going to want to go to your scene and then add another source. Select NDI source. After you've, you know, you've added the source, you're, you're going to be prompted to select a source display. Uh, after adding the NDI source, select the source from your list. If you have two displays, then your primary display is going to be listed as one and your secondary is going to be listed as two. Now, there you have it. If you're a little too broke to, you know, buy a capture card or you actually just want to try out a two PC setup without spending a lot of money on buying the capture card, then this is the way you're going to want to do it. Uh, everything I installed will be linked below in the description. So let me know in the comments what you're planning to use this for and if you want to come and say hi, I stream every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday. And um, I hope this helps. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye!